Hi to everyone, your Power Al here with another vlog. So this arrived in the mail earlier today and I'm going to open it and show off what it is because this is something I'm actually very excited to talk about. There's another thing I want to open up that I got in the mail, but that's going to be another vlog that I probably should have done when it arrived. But honestly, I just haven't had the, uh, the energy to do things lately. But uh, yeah, this, I want to talk about this since... Uh, I don't want to procrastinate on another thing. But the, uh, the other thing I want to open, again, it's going to be another vlog. But, uh, I already opened up the box. At least the, the package box. And this is what I got. Got myself a, uh, a Stream Deck. I believe this is actually the Stream Deck Mark II. So, uh, yeah. This is something that I have been eyeing for a while. I was originally just gonna get myself just a regular Stream Deck, but the Mark II, I mean, the Mark II has been out for a while now, so I figured I might as well just get this instead. And uh, the reason why I want a Stream Deck, um, I mean, for streaming purposes, sure, whenever I eventually get back on that. But the main reason I want to get a Stream I wanted to get a stream deck is because um, I figured that using this for video editing could help with my uh, productivity because um, I, I was whenever I get something like this I always do research on exactly what I want to use it for and um, I saw some videos on people using it for video editing and I figured um, just having like the, the different buttons that you could have on the uh, the stream deck just like be mapped to various things or like button combinations. I already have a mouse for that, but I mean, having something else as well, like I could use this to open up multiple pro uh, programs at once for recording or um, just various other things. I could have a button uh, mapped for exporting, even though I already have that. Uh, I have a button map for that on my mouse, but like there's just a whole bunch of things I could use this for, for, uh, for video editing, or um, or streaming. So something like this, I feel would be very worthwhile. So um, right out of the box, uh, this is what it's looking like. I've never actually uh, seen one of these in person, and it's um, it's actually smaller than I thought it would be. So one difference with this compared to the uh, first model of the Stream Deck is the base. It's not adjustable as far as I know. Uh, like I can't like tilt this, so it's always gonna be at this uh, angle. But uh, there are 15 buttons mapped here, or 15 buttons I can use for mapping to various things, and the buttons themselves uh, feel pretty nice. Um, I know Rob, he has a stream deck, so I'm gonna actually be asking for his input on what I could potentially do with this. Uh, also in the box is, uh, I guess, the uh, USB cable for it. Because I believe this takes USB-C, right? Where's the uh, USB? I think it's like back here, but yeah, let me, let's get a closer look at that. So yep, that's uh, that's the Stream Deck. And then, of course, various uh, things like, I guess, a manual for the Stream Deck. And then, I guess this is just uh. warnings and whatever things that typically come with a lot of electronics that you order and then uh here is the usb cable it, it is usb c so um that's neat and i'm just gonna quickly gloss over this just to see let's see download download and install the stream deck app i'll have to do that connect it to a usb port do not use a usb hub okay uh, 
launch the app to customize the stream deck. Drag. Yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot of messing around with this in the uh, in these upcoming days, just because um, it is a little bit late at night. Not late, it's 9.30. So, uh, yeah, over uh, these upcoming days, I'm going to set up the stream deck exactly how I want it. Let's see. Uh, configure actions and personalized keys with custom icons. For best results, use 72 by 72 uh, JPEG or PNG files. So, yep, drag and drop create folder onto a key. Okay, I'm actually curious to see like how uh, intuitive the program is for the Stream Deck and like how easy it is to use. Uh, right, keys to copy them. Uh, face plates can easily be switched out for custom design. Oh yeah, there's like a whole face plate thing, which I don't really, uh, care for. So, uh, yeah. And that's it. So, I just need to, I mean, it doesn't look like this is going to be too much of a problem with wherever I put this. Let me just untangle the uh, cord. And, yeah, I, I plan to just put it like right um right behind my keyboard because that's where i have room for it in my uh in my desk i do also need to just clean my desk in general because the right side which i don't really like, show too often is a bit of a mess but uh yeah this is uh what my desk is looking like at least where i plan to put the stream deck so the idea is to have the stream deck right over here move the keyboard back a little i need to move my creatine and pre-workout but just have it here then just whenever I need to use it just boop press buttons oh it slides a bit on this desk that's uh gonna be a bit of a problem yeah I, I could probably get like um like a thing for that to stop it from doing that because that's that would be annoying because I don't want to have to like hold it and then press a button also yeah I need to plug it in and do all that crap, so give me a second. So I have the Stream Deck set up. I actually solved the uh, problem with it sliding. It's because of the plastic wrap that was underneath the bottom. Also, this just pops off from the uh, base, which is neat. But uh, yeah, I have a few buttons here set up, and I have the, uh, the program open for the Stream Deck. And it's just really nice because if I just press like a thing here, it automatically changes on the program and I don't need to like hit save on the program or anything like if I just do something here it's like automatically uh applied to the stream deck itself but yeah I have a few things set up here uh nothing too bad I have this which shows the uh, CPU of the computer like the CPU usage this folder here which I don't know I might be used for uh video editing let me just uh change the ISO a little bit to make it a little bit easier to see but I have this button here to open up Adobe Premiere I have this for um it's a hotkey setup for exporting out of Photoshop because it's like it's a it's a small little time saver I could just press this to instantly export a photo instead of just going to uh Photoshop uh drag down from file go to export as or remembering the hotkey for it which is like Alt plus Control plus Shift plus W, I think. I don't know, but just pressing this while uh, Photoshop is open just makes things a whole lot easier. Then I have this recording folder here. This one is neat because I have it set up to open uh, the Elgato's um, recording software for the... Uh, it's the HD60X that I have. I don't remember. Then I have this one for 3DS capture, which is also really neat because I could just press this and it just opens up everything. The 3DS uh, window viewer, there's something plugged in, Bandicam and Pro Tools all at once. Just a neat little time saver. And that's basically what me getting the Stream Deck boils down to, just all these little time saves to help with my uh, productivity. Now I just need to close out of Pro Tools, but... Yeah, I'm going to be doing a lot of messing around to see how exactly I want this laid out because I might want to just have Premiere right down there or something. And I could just set up uh, 
multiple pages on this as well. There's just, uh, what happens if I do do that? Oh, there's actually a button for just making another page. So I could just do that like that, but having the folders also helps a lot as well. Uh, can I just delete that page? Yes, I can. So I'm, I'm just gonna be doing a lot of messing around, especially with um, with some OBS settings for streaming, because this, this could also be an incentive for me to just uh, stream some more as well, just because having, having more control just at the press of a button like this. Just really handy. And there's also a whole bunch of other plugins I want to take a look at as well. But I'm going to be making a lot of use out of this. So I'm I'm really looking forward to, to just experimenting with this and seeing what I could do to just, again, increase my productivity. Anyways, uh, that's going to be it, I guess guess so if any of you have a stream deck let me know how you use it and if there's any like tips or tricks you could uh you could give me i'm gonna also just be watching some other videos as well just to give me more of an idea of what i could do and how i can lay things out because one thing i do like is organizing things like this so uh yeah Anyways, uh, I'm gonna end it off here, so thank you all so much for watching, and see you next time for another vlog. Later.